Howdy, you only care for yourself. You're a leech, Harley. And you're sucking the life out of actual victims. Not only that, if you look through all of the screenshots of their conversation, you can not only see them egging her on to sue me, you see how they're gloating about releasing their videos at once, how they're so cool and how they're building up hype and how they're pathetic dumb- <sighs> Give me strength. Okay, welcome guys to a new video. So I've been trying to, you know, f make that video that I promised you guys that week project, all the fancy editing and whatnot, but this is getting too much. I need to, to give a take on this, a very quick take. Um, I want to start off by saying <laughs> that I actually gave Luke the benefit of the doubt in this instance, and I only watched his video hoping, trying to get the perspective of what does a Luke fan uh, you know, see firsthand by going ahead and clicking on his amazing video. What what what, what would an average person that goes to Luke that is on the Luke camp get by watching only his video and not the context, you know, like from uh, the individual that Luke is, you know, bashing right now, that 16-year-old uh, uh, under 10K uh, individual. And, you know, Just Stop, of course, uh, Luke is salty because Just Stop just completely owns him every time so i gave luke the, the benefit of the doubt i went to his video to see what happened and guess what it wasn't any better it wasn't any better than it would be if i went ahead and i saw just stop or that other kid's videos first it actually it was pretty terrible because you can see the blatant deception misrepresentation that this man does it's it's kind of scary in the way, right? It's kind of scary in a way. And the reason is because I think, I don't know if Luke is doing this maliciously, like planned. I think he's this delusional. I really think he's deluded himself. He's, that he thinks he's actually telling the truth. That he thinks he's actually representing these people in a fair way. I, I think that he's deluded himself. And that's scary. It's a very scary thing when this... You know, I, I don't want to call him a man because he barely is one, let's be honest. So this this person named Prison Mate Luke, this glue eater, it's very scary that he's deluded himself into thinking what he's saying is factual and 100% accurate and not misrepresenting someone at all. In fact, to validate this claim in itself, today there was an individual that was very upset at... Uh, the, uh, the, the 10k under YouTuber that Luke's been bashing these uh, past few videos, or rather these last couple videos, it's been two, you know. So this individual wrote today, hey, so I kind of want to apologize to Harley TWT for saying some pretty dumb uh, shit. I only looked at Prison Mate Luke's video and took that as 100% proof that you defended Lexit. You know, that is the uh, individual in question that this is all about and how it started apparently. Uh, but this person finishes off to say, I'm sorry for not looking at the whole thing in just Luke's video. Once again, this shows what Luke does, right? The misrepresentation, poisoning of the well tactic that a lot of these gossip forums use. A, a lot of these deceptive YouTubers also use. And you can even see this done in politics as well, right? This is all over. This is not a tactic limited to just the YouTube sphere. If you want to have a most recent example... Actually, it's the way that Chris Hansen in the documentary, if you've seen that, you know, his team or whoever was working on that documentary blatantly took Augie RFC out of context as well as Keemstar and made them look uh, based on what they said. And they labeled them as uh, Onision defenders. They make them look like Onision defenders. And that was just not the case when you saw the entirety of the clips. It's a deceptive practice that a lot of these journalists that you can't trust uh, a lot of these politicians as well you so it's again it's not just limited to the youtube sphere but uh, for for prison made luke who is somebody that i presume is in their 20s uh from the ramblings that have been said here and there from somebody like that especially that even just let's just assume luke isn't even 20 let's assume he's in the same age range right which i know it's a stretch to say because i'm pr again i'm pretty sure he's like 20 up but uh let's just assume it's not even a matter of the age right it's a matter of look dude you have a hundred thousand subscribers you have a history for taking things out of context which you can't refute the only thing he said for when the claim about him taking things out of context <laughs> the only refute he had for that ladies and gentlemen was well, I'm just giving my opinion, bro. Are you serious? 
Like, what's wrong with you? Like, this is what I mean. He's deluded himself into thinking he's the good guy. And the buzzwords that he uses in his video and the way he presents himself, the way he comes off, what he says, garbage. All he relies on is the emotional factor. He uses words like, you don't care, or the victim, or you're a scumbag, stuff like that. Character attacks. Attacks on the character, right? And the Cameron guy isn't any better, right? He's the worst. Like, let me, let me be perfectly honest with you, kid, right? And this is, you can take this personal if you want. I don't give a shit. I don't care about you, right? The internet is not going to be a safe haven for you. The internet is not going to be, and it has no obligation to be safe for you. It has no obligation. I don't know what kind of weird world, little fairy tale, unicorn world you came from. Dude, the quote unquote backlash or, you know, whatever you got is nothing. That was a nothing. And if that was enough to make you cry, oh my goodness. <laughs> you, <laughs> you better not become a public figure on the internet because you broke down over this. You were petty enough to throw Harley under the bus, right? That's the 10K YouTuber under the 16-year-old that Luke is bashing continuously. And let me make myself clear. I have no reason to be nice to Harley myself, right? I am not a biased person, right? Harley... Right, as an acquaintance. No offense, Harley. Bud, you know, uh, we've had our, you know, this, well, what, what would you call it? Uh, disagreements? Uh, you know, you do have a lot to learn. I will say that. Um, but in no way does everything you've done validate what Luke is trying to do. Luke, blatant poisoning of the well. Uh, look at his titles. Look at Luke's titles. The scummiest person. The scummiest clout chaser, right? Uh, then Harley TBS gets even scummier, right? And he even made it a featuring Cambridge F3. Like, what is this, dude? Like, what is wrong with you? Really, actually, what is wrong with you, dude? Right? Like, what the? Like, what? And then people are like, well, minors aren't uh, immune from criticism. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, that's not the argument. The argument is. Luke is not giving criticism. An example of somebody that's giving criticism was Just Stop. When you look at Just Stop's titles, Prison Mate Luke, Gaps in the Bars, that is not calling Luke a scummy person. In fact, if you watch that video in its entirety, like I told you to, he is very nice to Luke. Very overly nice to Luke. That is criticism. There are no character attacks for the most part that I even remember, and, and it's just a very fair thing to do. And Luke made a response to this, and he cried about it. Let's, let's be real. He fucking cried throughout the whole thing, made a bunch of excuses, and tried to f blame it on other people, trying to deflect re uh, responsibility, basically. That's what Luke does. It's literally what he fucking does every time. And then just stops follow-up, which I haven't watched in its entirety, because, again, I wanted to come into this giving Luke the benefit of the doubt, seeing if I could be brainwashed, seeing if there was anything fundamentally wrong with his video, and what do you know it? There is. So, we got just stop, prison mate Luke, my worst fears realized. In no way do these two titles made by just stop, in these excellent videos, I'm sure the second one is just as good as the first one, in these videos, there is no mention of Luke being scummy. Do you see the difference in titles? Luke is blatantly character attacking for the sake of stunting the growth of a creator. And this is so petty in the way that Luke goes ahead and he self-righteously once again wants to say that he knows what's best for you, that he cares about the victims. Dude, you are not in the, you are not a detective, okay? You are not a cop. You are in no way qualified to do any of this. You are in no way qualified legally, right? Because you want to use the legal shit all the time, right? So legally, you are not qualified to do any of this, right? Nicholas Diorio, Augie RFC, all of those, the commentary mafia, are more qualified to do and handle this shit than you are. That's why when Diorio said, who the hell is going to prison made Luke to handle these kinds of allegations? That's, that's funny as hell because it's so true. Who is going to you? Who is desperate enough to go to someone like you? 
that blatantly spews propaganda out of their mouth every single time, taking things out of context. A person, a fanboy of yours, that went in to your video, came back after doing, thank God, doing the research, getting the full context, which you leave out every time, Luke. You still haven't gotten better. They came back and they realized that you were full of shit. Luke, you are full of shit. You are. That is not a character attack. That is, at this point, coming, going towards the objective fact. Because that, that's what it's turning out to be, based on your behavior and the way you're handling this shit. Because nothing says confidence in oneself like making two <laughs> videos that equal almost an hour on a 16-year-old kid. So, to wrap it all up, Luke goes in, character attacks, uh, I, you know, the main purpose of this, I would assume, from a logical standpoint, again, because... <laughs> When it comes to manipulative people like Luke, th this is the reason why I abandoned the emotion shit. Because that's all he does. He preys on the emotions, the buzzwords. He, he elevates himself. Luke elevates himself in his own video saying, I care about victims. I do good for victims. Hardly no care about victims. <laughs> that's what he does. He cries. You know, you can hear internally the crying, the bitching, the moaning, right? <laughs> That's all he does. Luke, I want to give you, like, a little bit of advice. I'm guessing, I'm 20. I don't know how old you are again. I'm, I'm guessing you're tw in the 20 age range, right? Maybe you're older. I'm, I'm assuming you're older, maybe a little bit. But here's the thing, bud. Let a 20-year-old tell you to stop being a petty little bitch. I have small creators saying terrible shit about me because either I took their girl, uh, I told them to off themselves, or, you know, anything else of the sort. I embarrassed them, whatever. I have them saying terrible, slanderous shit about me that would definitely hurt my reputation on YouTube, right? I, I, I know what it's like, Luke, but you're not getting you, the most you've gotten is that you take things out of context, and you don't even fix that. You continue to do it. You do it. You're feuding with a bunch of kids right now. What the hell, man?